Hiring sucks right now because you're not doing a few things that I think make the biggest difference. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Claudio, owner of Winray Consulting and host of the Big Stud Podcast. If you have not listened to the podcast, jump over there, but we're also uploading podcast interviews onto YouTube, so check those out as well. And as always, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel in case you haven't done that. Click the little bell. Do I sound like a YouTuber now? Is that good? <laughs> All right, hiring right now is a challenge. It's not fun, it's exhausting. You get no shows on interviews, you get no shows on day ones. You're getting really bad opportunities through in the, in the interview, like the search, the, the recruiting perspective. Here's the, here's the deal. If you are not evolving in your process to go get in front of the right people at the right time, you're gonna struggle. Um, I don't believe that job boards like Indeed, ZipRecruiter, Monster are the best place to find the best candidates right now. The best employees, like good and great employees, they know they're good and great employees. So they're, pretty, they're simply pretty comfortable where they are and they're not gonna go looking for more opportunities. So how do you find them? Um, obviously poaching, walking in and asking if, if they wanna go is great, but they're also always on social media, right? The average American adult spends four to five hours a day um, engaging with media platforms, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, things like that. So how do you get in front of them? How do you find them? How do you get them? My opinion is right now, instead of doing a job posting on Indeed, write a, a thoughtful uh, problem cause type post on Facebook and then target your ideal candidate both geographically and demographically. Example, so like, all right, so I'm trying to hire a salesperson for an in-home company, right? I'm, I'm an in-home sales, I'm a remodeling company or whatever, you're trying to find a sales guy. I would say things like, hey, if you're an in-home sales specialist that's struggling getting leads, struggling making the money, or not getting the opportunity you said you would get when you joined the company you're with, it could be because that company's not as system and process focused like we are. We're hiring in-home sales right now, so comment below, click the link, or send us a DM, we'd love to have a conversation with you. And then pick that you know, 25 to 45 year old you know, people in this geographic area, or whatever that looks like for you, and it's very inexpensive because basically, you know, if you don't know this, Facebook charges by impressions. And so when you minimize the potential audience, you minimize the expense. So it actually is incredibly inexpensive to go this route. I've seen several of my clients um, on the coaching side be successful with this because they just got really good at meeting and understanding the problems of their target audience, right? This is the same as marketing to consumers. If you understand the problems your target audience is dealing with, in this case, it'd be an in-home salesperson, you know, it's about leads, it's about money, it's about opportunity, it's about culture, it's about core values. Are they struggling with those things? Because if they are, we'd like to see if we're a good fit for you and if you're a good fit for us. You know, if I was hiring, let's say a, a financial manager, right? So I'm, I'm in the process right now of considering hiring like a, a controller slash financial manager for win rate consulting. So I'd be like, hey, if you're a financial manager right now or you're an accountant right now and you're just struggling, feeling like you're fulfilled, feeling like you're like, what are you doing that's not making an impact? If you're feeling like there's just no room for progress within your company, WinRate right now is hiring for a controller. We're looking for somebody who's got detail oriented. They're into the numbers, but they're really in about making an impact. We build champions as our job. If you wanna be a part of that mission, we'd love to talk to you and see if we're a good fit for you and if you're a good fit for us. That's the point. Focus on their problems, focus on what, you're, what you want them to do from a you know, application perspective. Do not make this long ass Facebook post with like all requirements and all responsibilities and this whole fucking job posting on Facebook. Don't do that. Focus on the problems they're having, call to action. Get them to apply, have a conversation, whatever that might be. The second thing is, I don't think enough companies are utilizing like employee referred uh, programs where like if an employee refers another employee that sticks around, that there's like bonuses that can be handed out um, or just asking your employees if they know anybody. You know, not all, it's not always that your employees understand what the need of the company is. So talking to your employees, offering opportunities, um, giving them a, you know, an employee referral bonus so that they are out there actively hunting for you as well. And also like that requires you to make sure your current employees are happy, right? So you have to have a culture, you have to be investing in them, you have to be making them happy so that they're willing to go talk about, no, this is a great place to work. Um, if, you, if you're not doing that right now, that's gonna be a very difficult process to, to implement. And then third would be constantly, not just intentionally, but constantly be utilizing content to talk about the internal workings of your company. You know, I think a ton of companies do a pretty good job of creating content around what they do, but not who they are. Um, if you look at a good or great employee, there's likely at some point in their career they've been duped by a bad company. So they're afraid of making change. Like the company they're with right now, they understand the benefits, they understand the cons, and they're comfortable with both of them enough to stay. 
Making a change means there's some unknowns in the process. There might be some unknown cons that they're not happy with. So really making sure that you're putting content on about who you are, what you're about, your core values, your process, how you do things, why you do things. It allows good employees or great employees to look at you like that's somebody I want to work for. If you're never present on your social media, you're just posting pictures and before and after stuff like that. You're not giving somebody a story to get behind. So those are a few things I think most people are not doing consistently right now to effectively hire the best employees for them at this time. So if that's you or you're struggling with or you want some help, reach out. Go to MikeClaudio.com, go to WinRateConsulting.com. Myself and my team would love to help you figure out this process so that you can get your business to the next level. Remember, you gotta win fast and win often.